Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Who Should You Choose? The video is where I go over all of your comments and questions trying to make lineup decisions for Hockey Ultimate Team in NHL 20. So if you haven't done this before, uh, if you reply to the pinned tweet on my Twitter account and you're following me at No Sleeves Gaming, that way you'll get read first. I'll read those first. And then after that, it's anyone who has uh, subscribed to my YouTube channel and that and then put uh, public subscriptions on so I can see that you're subscribed. They, uh, I then answer those questions. So let's get into first uh, Twitter from Nick Moran. This is what my team's looking like. What upgrades do you think I should look for? Also, side question, which 99 do you think I should go for? So um, just going over his team real quick. His centers are rough. You need to go Kopitar. And in terms of just upgrades, after Kopitar, uh, look for a first-pairing defense as well. So someone in the 90s um, for uh, left defense would be someone that you'd want to look for for sure. Left, or sorry, uh, right-handed defense. From Brett, uh, 97 Yager, 99 Kucherov. I have Kucherov synergies a bit more, thank you. I need Kucherov synergies a bit more. Uh, this stage of the game, if you're having 99 overall players and whatnot, I really don't care about synergies, but... Um, if you're looking between 97 Yager and Kucherov, I have both, and Yager's on my second line, Kucherov's on my third. Hey man, always great to watch your videos throughout the year, keep up the good work, thanks man. Uh, I'm looking to upgrade my left wing, which one would be the best fit in your opinion? Budget is 1.2 million. Uh, so here is his squad, he needs a left-handed winger? Yeah, he needs a left-handed winger. To replace, oh my goodness, this team is good. I'm assuming to replace Gretzky because the other guys are among the best, or maybe the Barkov. Uh, 8999 McDavid is an option. Uh, 97 Thornton, Yager, Kane, Hall, Malkin. I wish Matthews was under 1.5. Matthews would be the best for sure. Um,. It's still going to be McDavid if you can get the 99 overall version. He's still, like, by far one of the best cards. Your lineup is so stacked, they'd probably be McDavid. From Brandon Wu. Hey, love the content. Keep it up. Thanks, man. I have enough gold collectibles, icon collectibles, to do both Pronger and Yager to their 97s. I also need a second pair of D after I make Pronger, and I want to grab an OB card. Have 650k. Let me know or else you see the upgrade. As a side note, I haven't opened my 99 challenge pack but it's all done. I'm thinking I'm going to take Petrolangelo short my D. I could take Kopitar and build Petrolangelo and sell Yager, wait on Pronger. Or I could build Yager plus Pronger and take Petrolangelo. What would be the better option? Uh, Well, this is going to depend on your right-handed defenseman. If your right-handed defenseman is kind of weak, um, then I would go with the Petrolangelo side uh, because he's one of the three best. Pronger, I mean... It's going to be the same thing because Pronger is one of the best defensemen unless you have the 99 headman. Um, so, again, it's all going to depend on the rest of your team. But I'd probably I'd probably build Petro. From Ferocity Gaming, hey, love your vids and they're extremely helpful. Thanks, man. My question is, do I spend the coins on Friday to make Petro Angelo? Do I save and buy Team of the Season Villanueva? The stats are similar and Villanueva is a cheaper option, but which is better? I would go with Alex Petro Angelo. He's one of the best in the game and will be for the remainder. Scott Tobin, 91 Blake Wheeler, 91 Jeff Carter, 90 Jack Eichel, 91 Jeff Carter. From ZYQ, they man, thanks for your last suggestion, the 93 Seth Jones. Now I need to upgrade my left-handed winger. Should I go with 95 Chris Kunitz, Frederick Modine, or 95 Sean Monahan? Great you channel, in my opinion, best content-wise among all Ultimate Team channels. Hey, man, I appreciate that, dude. Ooh, I would go with the 95 Sean Monahan. Carter Walsh, hey, thanks for answering my question last time. I got another one for you. Would you rather have between the 93 Petrangelo, 93 Seth Jones, 93 Seabrook, or 92 Carlson? I can only pick one to upgrade my right D. Love the vids. Well, I would rather go, I would love to go with the 99 Petrangelo, but even in this case, I would go with Petrangelo. All right, on the, on the YouTube side of things, we'll start with Patriot. 95 Burns versus the 95 Hamilton. Or the 90, 95 Burns versus the 97 Hamilton. I would actually rather have the 97 Hamilton. 95, the Burns card isn't, doesn't feel like elite until he gets the 99 speed. Um, it just he feels a little sluggish. So until everything's maxed out, I would go with the Hamilton. 99 Kuzi or 99 Kopitar. Consider the fact that I need a winger preferably, and Kuzi will probably be cheaper. Also, what would be an appropriate price for each of those two players? It's 100% Kopitar. Um, 
uh, Kopitar is far the far better player. If you really want a winger just because he says he's a winger, it'd be the Kucher or the, the Kuznetsa. But you're looking at around a million, probably a little bit less. But those would be the options for sure. From Fergie, Ferg, hey, sleeves, I'm looking to be with my demon with a few big end game players. Obviously, that means they're getting pretty pricey. At what price point do you think these players should be bought around, and which of these players should I go up to first? Players, 95 Bufflin, Char 93 Chara, Seth Jones, 95 or 96 Headman, key up the great bids. Thanks, man. All right, well, the 93 Chara is going to be like 600K just because he's rare. Um, and it's still one of the best players in the game. In terms of Bufflin, Seth Jones, and Hedman, probably around 300k. Um, anything under that is a pretty decent value. Ace Leaves Lives Recall, I need help. What should I do to upgrade my team? Is 99 Wayne, Zeddy, Kovatar, Timu, Sundin, Cole Perfetti, Shanahan, Sag, Stasny, Pasta, Mario, Bemstrom. My D is Wyatt Wiley, which is a crazy name. 93 Gunnarsson, Myers, Redden, Coffey, Bergeron, Smith, and Net. I have 300,000 300, K coins. You need to upgrade your defense uh, for sure. That bottom pairing is something you need to address. Try and maybe make the 89 Coffey uh, the 90 version, or the, the 97 version. A Woods, hey, what's up, Sleeve? I started playing Hut again because I've obviously been stuck inside. I have a 94 Gee. Should I finish his path to his upgrade or just start? The Mario upgrade from the start. Also, I picked up the new Zaka card, new Headman card. Been watching these videos. They're making crazy differences. Hey, man, I appreciate that, dude. I would go and make the Mario because he is far better, in my opinion, in NHL 20. Uh, from Mac, need one more right D. And in the budget for the 90 Myers, 92 Ekblad, or Seabrook, what should I go for? And should I look at different players in that price range? All are fine. The 90 Myers, however, is just... Because he's so big, um, you know, you really notice him. I would, I would go with the Myers. Sport Ninja. My team is starting to get all untradeable, so I sold my Bishop, got Smith, and sold Hayes and got 91 Barrett Hayton. I'm going to start taking tradable packs. I move up to his and Riles. Were these good choices? Also, has this ever happened to you? Your opponent wants to trade with you, and they include a coin amount they'll give you, and you take their trade, and they didn't give you the coins? Never seen that happen. Um, actually, how can they include a coin? I don't even think that's possible. Anyways, uh, in terms of what you've done, yeah, that's a good option. A uh, big problem is everything being untradeable. Obviously, it's going to hamstring a lot of players. Uh, I would take all the tradable packs at this stage of the game as well. Sleeveless fan, nice. 90 Markstrom or 91 Koskinen. Big fan, by the way. <laughs> I would go 90 Markstrom. Dylan, I tried the Trache reroll. Best I got was St. Louis. That's tough. Thanks for answering my questions, man. You rock. Here's my last maybe question. I packed the 97 primetime Eric Carson. What should I do with him? Here are my lines. Oh, my goodness. You have a good team. I bet you're going to say Geo. But I have an all-time Flames, and he fits, so I can't sell him. Honestly, I'm just thinking of selling Carl. I would just sell Carlson. Yeah, he's not going to be anyone. He's all these other guys I would rather have. And, yeah, it would be the Geo, but. Uh, what's the best strategy for playing on the rush more than cycling the puck? What's the best strategy? Uh, crash the net works really well. Um, but if you're looking for team building strategies, it's just who's ever fastest. But the problem with it is that everyone is already fast. Um, but yeah, in terms of tra um, strategy, uh, crash the net's really good for people that just specifically don't cycle the puck at all and just score off the rush. Why would you or who would you say your three top three to five goalies? I know Markstrom is number one. Where would you rank guys like Dobbs and Vasilevsky? Well, this is the problem. So like the three to five goalies here, I'm gonna give you the overall like outlook. So anyone over six foot five is elite. Okay, and then what I look for is their glove high, um, their positioning stat, and then aggression. So I want something under 80 aggression and then the highest glove high and positioning. Those are the three stats that I think are most important. And then I just go from there. So there are tons of options. The one high aggressive goalie that I've heard is really good, though, is the carry price at 99. Where would you rank that 96 uh, Seabrook? Big, decent shot, relatively cheap. Who would you take over him and who would you rather have than him? Um... Where would you rank him? He is a very good card, no doubt. Um, I would rather have, you know, like the... 
Brent Burns cards, Carlson, Seth Jones, uh, those kinds of guys. But the 96 Seabrook is up there. He's definitely usable. Oh, Petrangelo as well. Hey, Slaves, I've watched all your videos, and you are often referring to the meta of the game as bigger and faster players. My forwards are between 6'2 and 6'4 and 99. However, my opponent's smaller players often catch up to mine, i.e. team of the season, non-NHLers under 6 foot. Can you do a video on how to play with these big players, especially against smaller, faster guys? Um, yeah, so I can I can touch on this. Obviously, the smaller guys, they... Again, if it might just be that you're, you're catching them when they're winded or they're late in a shift or things like that, but they should be relatively close. When you're playing someone that's smaller, what you want to do is stay close to them, and I mean like real close, and then hit up on the right stick. What you're going to do is bump them. That is why smaller players in this game do not work nearly as effective because the second a bigger player gets close, and I'm not talking you line up a big hit. I'm talking like you're close to them. Uh, almost touching, and you start spamming the up the on the right stick. It'll bump them off the puck, um, and that's why they're you know they're so ineffective. All right, so uh, here is Norman's team: Stasny, Kopitar, Lafleur, Howarchuk, Lemieux, Richard, uh, Olachuk, Lindholm, Besser, Sod, Ferraro, Murray. So that Sod obviously stands out. I don't really like Lafleur. I don't like him either. I loved him in NHL 19, but should I sell him and move Lemieux to the wing? I would much rather have Lemieux on the wing. And if so, who should I get for second line center? I was thinking Sakic, Sundin, worried it would be slow. 97 Spezza, Hurdle 95, Benito, not a great shot. Anyone else? Um, well, you could go Sundin. He's one of the best centermen. Um, but if you don't like righties, then it is what it is. But your wingers are what you want to worry about in terms of speed. Um, nine, he, Sundin is fine as long as you have synergies. If you don't want Sundin, uh, the next one would be Spezza and then Hurdle. If Lemieux is fine at center, who should I get on wing instead of Lafleur for about 500k? I was thinking Solani, Shanahan, any other. I don't like Shanahan. Um, Solani's obviously fine, um, but in terms of like right-handed players, look for a really high-end uh, Jack Eichel. That'd be someone good for you. What should I do with my next upgrade for forward and defense? So, uh, I mean, again, you're, you're gonna have to look for price range things, but look for speed. High 90, 99s, um, you know, would be the best, and then size over six foot two or six one, uh, and then shot. I would go with um, upgrading your third pairing defenseman though. Uh, 95 Fowler, 95 Yandel, or the 95 Redden. I would go Yandel in this situation. The only Larson. Great tips here. Been watching since I started playing over a month ago. Where do you think you need? I need to upgrade. So I've got 40k and I'm saving up now, but getting players in the 48 or the last few uh, upgrades. So line A, 99 Kopitar, 90 Matthews, Vickers, Lemieux, McDavid, Silverberg, Larkin, Nielsen. And then on defense, he's got Doherty and Niedermeyer, and then Keith and Frick, and Glear and Haas. So I would worry about your second line now. You need to upgrade these two wingers, Vickers first, and then McDavid, and then your third line. And once you've upgraded your third line, then worry about your defense. Hey, Sleeves, thanks for pumping up the content. Here's my team. I'm lucky enough to get the 97 Kane in. Uh, that's pretty sick, dude. Next step for me is to upgrade my first line, D. Deciding between a few guys. All right, so here are the guys that he wants to decide between. Sergachev, Slavin, Morensky, Pronger, Fanuf. I love the Fanuf card for his size, but his passing and puck control stats aren't that good compared to the other guys. Most cards are within 10 to 20k of each other, so cost is not a huge factor here. Any suggestions on who you should go for out of the cards? I listed anybody else who I can think of who'd be a good target. Tight on coins, keep it under 200k. Uh, honestly, um, I would Morensky would be my pick here. Um, he would be my pick. Honestly, Dion Phaneuf would be, to be honest. He, the puck control and, and passing are okay. Like Those are important stats, but everything else is far more important in my opinion. So I would go Dion Phaneuf. Ryan Buck, love the vids, bro. You keep telling everyone to grab Kopitar 99 free card. If you already have the Kopitar, sell it and use the free card on the untradeable Kopitar and then use the coins to buy whoever else you want as the Kopitar by far the most value. I traded my Kopitar for the Kovalchuk since I need a right-handed winger and didn't want the Kessel. Um, well, yeah, if he's tradable, but if you already have, the, I'm assuming everyone, the Kobe, like, I'm assuming like 90% of players don't have the tradable version, but if that is the case for sure, sell them and then buy whatever card you want and take the free one. But almost everyone's going to have an untradable version. Quick question. Why do some goalies patch change color when you change the jersey to match it? Some don't mind Noonan changes. Honestly, that's an issue that's been brought up in the game changer program. I'm not sure. 98 
uh, Bellavo or the 97 Yager. 97 Yager. Brandon Kelly, all untradeable lefties. Who would you play as left wing, which is the wrong hand for one tease on my fourth line? Matthews, Olachuk, Graves. Uh, I'd go Matthews, but look for a righty, man. Jacob Perkins, hey, sleeves. I'm looking to pretty much finalize my team, trying to replace 95 Oshi Winger on my fourth line. Need a right-hander. I'm looking to choose between 97 Spezza, Pavelski, Stamkos, Fantasy Ryan Johansson, or if he's back up on the market after you respond to this, 97 Corey Perry. Ugh, gross. I would go Corey Perry. I just, God, I can't stand Corey Perry. 93 Orensky or 93 Seth Jones? Ooh, I would go 93 Orensky. And then the last question here from Henrik. Hey, keep up the good work. You're looking to see where to upgrade my team. Uh, don't know if I should upgrade the 89 Huddy or 89 Kuznetsov. I have 250k to spend. Greetings from Sweden. Bonjour. So here's his team. Yeah, so your team's not bad at all. Um, upgrade 89 Huddy. Yeah, you need to upgrade the Huddy for sure, and the 89 Kuznetsov. Those are those are where I would I would worry about your third pairing defenseman first, and then Kuznetsov. But yeah, I agree. But all right, guys, that is going to do it for me today. Again, um, if you want to have your questions answered in the next video, all you've got to do is go to my Twitter. It's uh, The tweet is down in the description here. Click that link uh, and then follow my, my Twitter page and then reply to that, that tweet that you're going to click on, and I'll answer it in the next video. Or alternatively, if you don't want to use Twitter, just subscribe to my channel. Have public subscriptions on. That's in the privacy settings in the top right. Um, and uh, then give me a question in the comment section. Thanks again, guys, for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.